Monday, the 6th of November, 2023. Hello, YouTube. So I am waiting for an entry in the London section right now. And so far, nothing really gets my eye. I was waiting for price to trade down here, but it retraded before going down there. So similar to go, I was waiting for price to come down here to have a, a quick scalp, but it trade up. So before going into my waiting zone. So trading on low time framing, I need to really follow a certain rule set. Otherwise, I will be going after the price, which is not really a good thing. So I will let you know once I am in a trade or something. So far, I don't really see any trade that for me is high probability. So see you once we are in the trade. Okay. Okay. All right, YouTube. So as you can see, I should enter a trade on Yi on a uh, GPP USD GU. I'm going to uh, draw the trade on uh, Trading View, so you actually have an idea how the trade look like on uh, Trading View. So it's gonna be a very uh, quick scout. So I'm gonna manage the trade manually as well. So you're gonna see every single thing. So uh, first trade of the day is a losses due to uh, commission and uh, spread. We lose a little bit, a little bit more as we are trading a lower time frame. That's okay. This is the second trade of the day. So you can see that uh, the trade, I have uh, all the stop box to break even. Still trying to hold a little bit longer. Because so far the other flow look pretty boneless. And right here is my objective. Not sure if we can hit that. But as long as we can go up a little bit more and cover the trade that we lost, then that's fine. So I should close on the trade. That is the second trade. You can see that right here. So we still a little bit down for today. Um, but I will see if we can actually find another opportunity. So one of the issue on uh, you know, on one minute chart is that usually the spread and the fee is really make me have to worry about the risk reward and backtesting on one minute chart sometimes it doesn't you the same result like live trading because then you are seeing every time i place a trade the slippage the spread the commission everything on one minute chart is really something that annoying to be honest so let's see if we can actually get out of the trade with profit. I think there's something wrong with the loss side. I calculate the risk is around 1%, but total risk exposure is not really 1%. It's just 0 0.5. That is some, um, you know, when you do everything so quickly, <laughs> there's room for mistake. So let's see if we can get this trade in profit first. So you can see that the spread with CAF, JPY, it widened quite a lot. It's changing from one pip to three pips. So it may be a really a pain in the ass when you trade lower time framing. But yeah, let's do our best anyway, okay?
So I just closed the third tray, mitigated a lot of losses. We have our next tray opening uh, in the tree manually. Let's see how it gonna react, right? So that was a losing tree. We are back down around 1%. But on this trade, let's see if we can actually get some profit. All right, I'm starting on CAF, JPY. As you have been seeing, I'm watching three pair and uh, I'm trading them whenever I see this opportunity. You can see the risk exposure is around 1%. So currently today we are down two percent. You can see the slippage is quite obvious, right? The slippage is obvious for this pair. To be honest, the slippage of FXFI and the the spread, the fees, and when I try to open thirty loss. It opened 26. There's something weird about this. I didn't have a this problem with uh, for the engineer or FTMO, so city something to think about when you choose a prop firm. If you are a scalper and with the condition that you are seeing me trading on this pair, I think you should probably avoid trading the pair on FXFI. So probably. I may have to stick to major pair or go so that they don't slip me too hard like this. YouTube, we have a whole history for more than 2.5%. Probably, I'm going to collapse the trade around this region. Here is my uh, target. You can see the zone that I marked out right there. So, my target is going to be around here. If I see a, re a rejection, if I see a red candle, I mean, about, uh, I mean about a, a bullish candle, a green candle, then probably I'm going to close the trade as this region. So, it's quite a, a difficult holding from here to here YouTube so uh, as you can see I already closed the trade even now it go down I don't really give a shit today I tried to do uh, scalping and as you can see on FXFI the negative but let me show you the trade copier so here is the trade copier and you can see most of my account are actually in profit there were some uh, issue with the trade copier and we didn't really find out exactly why but for me if XFI as a master account actually call me quite some weird trading issue sometimes uh, 
taking partial orders and work or yeah some 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 weird copier issue so that makes some kind of difference in the daily PL. so far today we are up around one percent on uh, most of the account on uh, my credit cap x not sure why it is why just at break even but on uh, nft still a little bit close to one percent as well but uh on uh, tft so they actually uh, ban my country so they disable the trading on uh, their account that's the reason why they no trade today because they are no trade can actually be executed on tft i will talk more about this later so far let me show you more here is how it look on uh, funded engineer account so you can see that the execution on uh, funded engineer is quite good and we got around one percent up for the day and to be honest even i managed mode of my trade pretty straightforward scalping and having a lot of trade and a lot of execution in the same day is kind of tired that is why i have to think about should i day trade or should i just sl or tp because when i set and forget usually my win rate is very low when i manage my trade manually usually my win rate is so much better but it requires so much time and it requires a lot of energy and that's something that i'm working on so anyway that is the third day in this new episode and this probably one of the longest day i trade for i spent almost like six hours on the chart and this is not a good thing to be honest it's not healthy and it's not sustainable but still a good day i'm gonna see you on the next day tuesday the 7th of november 2023 and you can see we have our two opening trade on go right now um, right now is London section. If we do have a good run to the downside, then probably I, I may uh, stop trading early. It depends. But uh, for me, go is very curious. And uh, my target is down here. But not really sure if it can actually go there in uh, one run. But uh, yeah, let's see. You can see the price and the uh, volatility is crazy this is on a one minute chart we have our the stop lot in advance So uh, I should close the trade. We are up around 0 0.5 percent. Let's see if we can have another opportunity. So you are seeing the second trade around 30 loss on uh, GBB USD. This one is a little bit like uh, aggressive. So I I try to side down a little bit compared to uh, usually if price trade up, I may open probably like. A little bit bigger but price kind of aggressive so I try to get in scout some uh, pips and then get out my target is down here so I want you to look in as a trade copier somehow I I close all the trade but still one trade open on go for all the pair I think that he that has something to do with the function of magic key or something probably i would need to close trade manually without the ea it's really bring some type of weird trading issue so i have a one opening trade on go for all on the slave let's keep checking in case price trade higher i'm going to have a, a smaller position opening on gu around this region So I just close all the go trade manually on uh, the trade copier. Um, when I trade 
a lot of accounts and sometimes this trade doesn't close, this trade is still open, this and that and I had to log in to like seven eight accounts trying to manually close the trade. That's something not very fun. It's especially when the market is strong and it went against you. It's very dangerous. So look like she you could not go here. If it go here I don't just trade that. I'm going to wait for some kind of reaction. But anyway, probably we are going to get some uh, impulsive move to the outside and then I will consider to close the trade. Let's wait. So as you can see, I should enter another trade on go. The trade is around here. Stop lot is still the same, targeting to the downside. Because I'm still having a trade on GBB USD. That's the reason why I'm going to uh, risk smaller on go. I don't want to uh, go too crazy. So here you can see that opening trade 222. So look why when I execute the trade without magic key, it looks pretty <laughs> more like smooth <laughs> let's see when i try to close the trade recently i had some weird issue not sure if it is due to fxfi or the trade copier something weird i mean there's some trades low to close but they didn't <laughs> i may add another 10 loss There we go. So I just have another 10 lot on a GU with a. You can see right here the total risk exposure is around 1.5%. Today we are up around 0.5%. Let's see how we end the session. So the trade stopped it out. Uh, I got to say that uh, we are back down around one percent. Well, I got to say that it was not a very good trade, but I actually have a lot of opportunity to get out of the trade, pretty much like safe. But I, uh, I was kind of hesitate. But that is why scalping is hard. Sometimes our mind got to catch up with very quick movement in the market, and uh, sometimes we wonder if we should do this and do that. But uh, I will try to do better the next time. So you can see that I should open another trade on GU, trying to uh, scalping it. To the downside. The first trade got copied to all the account, but the second trade it didn't get copied to FTMO and Skill Funded Trader because they don't have enough leverage on their account. And obviously, I am open quite bigger loss than uh, usual. So, if I hit stop loss for this trade, then uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow. If we win this trade, probably. We should stop for the day. <coughs> I 
the reason I should close uh, the gold train because I want to have a more machine on other account like FTMO and a skill penetrator trader to open another GBB pair. So probably I'm going to close one tray. Not sure if you get what I mean, but uh, I mean that I'm going to close uh, one tray and then holding two tray. Just trying to uh, reorganize the tray and the leverage and trade copier because I'm trading a lot of account together. So you can see right here because of the difference in the leverage between account. When I try to scout, there's some trade, some account enough money to open. There's some account don't have enough money to open. And you can see skill penetrator trader have a two opening trade, FTMO two opening trade, and other platform have a three opening trade. So this is, it's quite difficult to manage, as you can see. Sometimes it's a little bit painful. So today we are down 2%. That's quite bad. So that's done for today. On for the engineer, we are down two percent for the day. On MXFI, we are down a little bit more than two percent as well. On FTMO, close to two percent, and the same for other accounts around two percent down. And so far, we are from negative five percent to maybe negative 4%, something like that. So pretty, I'm gonna say it's quite a big drawdown because that is like 50% of the equity and uh, the maximum drawdown. So the funded trader, so my account had been disabled, um, say Vietnam, Vietnam, so probably I would not be able to trade there. And I trade more than 60 days on uh, the platform already. So they say that if I trade on the challenge for more than 60 days, then I am not going to receive my refund because I'm not fitting the term something. Now let's get back to uh, trading thing. So obviously two days of scalping. One day, let me show you FTMO. So here is my FTMO. The reason I show you this FTMO because recently uh, I think for the engineer has some issue with the dashboard, so some stuff may be incorrect. So yesterday we are up one percent with scalping, so the lot is quite huge. And uh, today we are down around uh, almost two percent with scalping as well. So uh, when I do scalping, um, I'm gonna say this: Is it gonna be different way of trading? And I try them all, and every time I go back with scalping is it's okay but it truly truly cost me so much of energy and time and help and let me tell you something I, I don't feel any emotion even I lost I mean let me show you this so right here is a trading view you can see that price trade to my stop lot and then it reverse and I should be feeling angry about that and you can see go actually drop when I close it. So uh, this is actually a normal thing when we do scalping and making the wrong choice or making the wrong move. But we can do it on the next day and the next day and the next day. The only thing worry me about scalping and trading one minute. First, we are trading in proper and so far not all the firm have a same trading condition. That is something that worry me because I can see a really difference in the execution and in commission and in slippage. So to be honest, I think that after the funded trader ban Vietnam and declines the refund things and so many people really complaining 
I do still want to take my time and I do still want to pass the challenge but obviously trying to scout and try day, day trading is it's just not easy to be honest I do backtesting around 500 trade poorly scalping and very very profitable but the problem is that when we do it on the real market especially in proper trading condition things are just so different to be honest I do like the way I use to trade stop lock or take profit and hold the trade it's very easy and very mechanical but I don't feel like it actually can work out well that's the reason why recently you can see me trading a lot of different way in the challenge okay, I'm actually testing a lot of things out so you can see that if the trade work out probably today is actually a green day right that is the thing about scalping so currently most of the challenge let me show you the trade copiers so right now most of the challenge he actually only have around five percent left so i mean if i'm risking one percent of trade that means i only have a four to five trade before i lost the challenge so i'm thinking a way to actually do it and after the series probably i'm going to just focus on one challenge at a time try to get the payout try to build up my personal account probably with a lot of things going on is a proper space i'm going to side down a little bit and don't go too hard on the proper as i don't really have a lot of money to keep buying challenge so i'm gonna see you tomorrow i guess I'm gonna rest and have some time for myself and family see you on the next update we we lost and we got emotion but trust me i am finger thing, fingering things out and i and i know that sometimes it appear like i I got emotional or something, but it's just for now. Sitting in the in the screen for so long, trying to recall, trying to trace, so it's basically burn me out. But yeah, I do my best. See you on the next update. Hello YouTube. So as you can see, I just play a trade in uh, New York section, risking one percent. And uh, as you can see, I am trading on one hour chart this time. To be honest, I try to trade on one minute chart, but it's just too much. I think I'm going to get back to uh, one hour time framing and uh, probably stick to one hour for some time to see if I can actually trade and live my life normally. Because usually, like when I trade one minute, it's just too much. It requires a lot of time, it requires a lot of screen, and it, it just makes me feel exhausted. I'm not talking about the PL. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, and that's very normal. But the thing is, it's just so tired. If we Even we make money, if we have a no life, if we have a no time outside of the chart, that doesn't mean anything at the end of the day, to be honest. So, for now, this is the only trade I can see on higher time framing. We don't have a lot of trades like one minute, but it's more peaceful. So yeah, every time I try one minute chart, I get better at it. But the stress that I got is still there. So it looks like I'm not really built for scalping. It just feel burned out, to be honest. The good thing is I don't feel like emotional about the losing trades or even winning trade but I do feel tired I do feel like I burned down so I'm gonna see you on the next update it's in a one hour so it's gonna be so much easier to trade see you on the next update hello YouTube so uh, right now is midnight and uh, around 1 a.m. soon and we are going to uh, hike a mountain very dark very the bad news is that it actually was raining a little bit so on the way up there we are going to go with the motorbike first so it's gonna be uh, a little slippery and uh, quite dangerous 
But uh, yeah, I will see you there. Hello YouTube, so uh, right now we are in uh, it's a mountain right now and we are going to uh, climb and uh, everything is ready you can see right here we have uh, the mask, we have uh, the light everything so uh, it's gonna be an awesome ride very cold but very exciting at the same time alright see you uh, at the top Hello YouTube, so you can see that today my wife and it's very dark now um, We are hiking on the mountain and when we look into the sky there's so many beautiful stars I don't think I can actually record that but it's beautiful Only when you turn off the light, you can see the star And only when you look within You can see how beautiful you are And how amazing you are At a human being I'm gonna keep walking It's gonna be a long long walk Probably two, three hours We're gonna see some blue fire Sunrise on the top of the mountain and you can see I am catching my breath. Yeah. See you on the top. Uh, so we are so I just saw blue fire and uh there are a lot of some four so I got to use a mask and uh, it's very uh, hard to uh, take any breath but uh yeah it, it is something that probably you have to be here to see for yourself it's like one of a few places on earth that actually have blue fire um and we are now awaiting uh to watch a uh, sunrise beside a uh, acid place like very blue water and very very beautiful so uh yeah, I could, um, I would try to get some uh, footage and I'm probably gonna see you on the next update Hello YouTube, so uh, right now I am with my wife We are repairing some uh, breakfast um, Gonna be very amazing um, <laughs> It's quite dark because we're still uh, in the early morning And uh, I'm gonna show you my breakfast Here is the breakfast We have a one uh, in instant noodle, we are going to uh, take it raw and uh, another instant noodle. We have our boy edge here, gonna be amazing! Amazing, we have uh, some uh, candy pour bar, we have uh, some uh, sandwich, <laughs> and we have a uh, hot, hot water for coffee and herbal tea. So I'm gonna show you the view as well. Um, here, you see that? You see that beautiful lay beside a volcano? City, beautiful city life. Um, a lot of people. But when you see something beautiful like this and you want to share it with uh, other people, then it's amazing. You, you can uh, see my uh, my hair is now all over the place <laughs> Too tired with the hi hiking but the view is so beautiful and I pay off um, During this time Traveling and enjoying the kind of beautiful moment with my wife We 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 don't hire a guy or a, a tour we actually take this mountain go solo repair everything and we're gonna spend a lot of time here and enjoy every single moment of it and see that it's just beautiful people seeing the thing and i think 
if you are new to trading it it may feel unrelated to trading yes but you come to trade for a living but in order to do so first you need to understand how and what kind of living you want to have and what kind of person you want to be and how you're gonna enjoy life because like it or not the kind of moment it actually build up your why your core values in a way that It allows you to trade any strategy, any kind of trading style that you want to apply to your daily life because as long as you can live, as long as you are happy, Zika moment is what actually keep me calm and patient when I got impulsive because I no longer want to be reckless I don't, I don't ever want to be see this we're gonna, go, we're gonna enjoy every bit of, bit of it Wednesday the 8th of November 2023 <laughs> Hello YouTube, so uh, this is uh, the first trade of the day and uh, you can see I am still holding the trade on uh, Euro NZD <coughs> Alright, so this is the trade of the day um, Risking 3% So, we have uh, around 5% uh, left and uh, currently I am risking 3% for the trade, I'm going to manage them manually, but yeah, I'm going to trade it on one hour chart instead of one minute chart. Every time I trade on one minute chart, I learn something. Even it's very difficult in light trading, especially one minute chart, but I still believe that it is possible. It's just not everyone can do it. But when I do like testing, doing it on one minute chart actually give me a lot of insights about how price move and how I sh should trade and manage my trade and manage myself. Also, how I utilize my LD curve to actually trade and get out of the chart out as well as maximize the profit. So we are on the episode 9 already and there's so much of <laughs> weird things going in the proper space and i just hope that you all are staying safe and uh probably after this series i don't know if it's gonna pass or not but probably i will side down on the proper to protect myself and save more money i still trade proper but i'm going to buy less challenge to save more money and focus to improve my skill set so that i can actually trade like capital in the future as well because currently i can still fund my line account but i'm not very confident in my skill set to be honest but yeah we do our best let's see how this trend unfolds. i see you on the next update hello youtube right now is uh, london section and so far you can see that we are having three trade two trade a uh, in profit and one trade is in chart out. So I'm considering to close two of the trade. I do have a plan for go to trade here and shot it, but look like it's already run to the downside, so no trade I mean, on go. So I'm going to close two trade on Euro NZD and Euro CAD. So today we are up around 1% and we have a one running trade in the uh, Draw out. Now, some people are gonna say things like, "You close in a panic. You close because you fear price." Something. <laughs> I mean, when I trade in front of everyone, people are gonna have a different kind of opinions. Like they know everything. I think something. <laughs> it's funny. So, 
I do monitor the trade and I do trade management now on one one hour chart. So that's the reason why I close the trade right now. I can actually move to break even. I can actually afford to hold longer. But the reason that I close the trade right now is because I am playing it a little bit safe. What does that mean? So I mean, you can see that currently on the trade copier, let me show you. So you can see that currently we are in the chart out around 5% on the MXFI account and around 2 to 3% on other account. Now, when we are in deep chart out from what I have studied in my backtesting, it's better to have a, a shorter profit target and try to have a more room in the equity so that when we got back to the initial balance at that time i may hold for a bigger profit or hold the trade or move stop out to break even it's, it's like we have a more room to perform and that's what i'm trying to do right here so that trade i play it safe because we risk three trades and we don't want all the trade to lose for nothing so when i see the early side of continuation or retracement on lower time framing i close the trade that's what i did so i'm gonna see you on the next update i guess today we are up one percent on all the account let's stay slow steady and slowly like going back to the initial balance all right see you On YouTube, so I should open a betting order on a uh, GPP USD. I was, I was about to, uh, I was about to open a trade right here, but price already rarely, and usually I don't want to trade the price. Beside that, we are going to have uh, some kind of red news in this section, so probably we're gonna see some volatility, and for that. For the daddy, I'm going to have her betting order and uh, let's see if we can actually get filled. So I just opened a uh, market order on GBB AUD and the buy limit on GBB USD is not really chicker. Price trade very close to uh, it, but not chicker yet. <laughs> anyway, let's see how things unfold. We have our two opening trade and uh, one betting order all right hello youtube so probably right now it's gonna be uh, the last update for the day so so you can see we have uh, the betting order ticker on gbb usd and i want to update about usd cat so on usd cat we in the trade around this region and up until now i have been holding this trade for around 13 hours and price actually violate around 50% of the stop lot so you can see my take profit right now is actually break even now if price trade back into the entry I'm going to get out 13 hours and it doesn't, doesn't show me any significant move to my buyers for me that is low probability trade and even sometimes we got winning trade, but most of the time going to be a losing trade. So they're going to get out. And here is the GBB USD trade, but ticker right here. And uh, here is a GBB AUD. So probably I'm going to hold GBB trade for like overnight. But for USD cat, I am uh, finding a way to exist. All right. I'm going to see you on the next update. Thursday, the 9th of November, 2023. <clears throat> Alright, YouTube, so I'm going to close the trade on USDCAD. So for that trade, we lost Euro on uh, 5R. So you can see on a 15 minute chart right here, when price trade back down here, very close to my entry, but it didn't get down here because if it did, probably I got out at break even, like I told you. 
in the previous update, I want to exit the tree and I want to limit the loss. Unfortunately, it traded quite aggressively to the upside and now it uh, retracing. So I closed the trade anyway and we lost around 0.5%. We are flopping quite uh, in profit with GU and uh, GBB AUD. And in the two trade, GBB AUD is quite promising. So for that reason, I'm going to keep holding and uh, yeah, I will keep you updated and I will let you know as well if we do have any new trade today. So for today, currently we are down around uh, 0.5%. Yesterday we are up 1%. Today we are down 0.5%. Let's see if we can actually recoup this loss and continue to get back to uh, initial balance. See you on the next update. Alright, so you can see that I should close GBP USD as well. For me, I still bullish on GU, but I'm not really bullish on DXY. So probably you're gonna see some kind of retracement or a, 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 a deeper die into the key level down here. So I close the trade. So far, we have our only one trade opening in GBP AUD. But as you can see, I already moved stop loss to break even because it is a significant move and if it's supposed to run higher as well, I want to see this high taken and eventually this high taken as well. So I'm going to keep watching. This trade is now uh, risk free, not really risk risk free as we still have our, all the profits on the table, but at least we remove some risk exposure so that we can have a new trade. All right, one hour, so one hour time framing, so everything is more slow, more peaceful. <laughs> so, so see you on the next update. Hello YouTube. So as you can see, I should play a trade on Go. For me right now, Go is pretty much bonus, and it's gonna take some time. This trade is actually based on four hour perspective and uh, the monthly candle so it's gonna be quite long <laughs> but we don't know anything eventually go very strong so potentially we can see some really fast move to the upside and my target is all the way up here but to be honest i'm going to carefully manage this trade all the way up because we are in drawdown so every trade i don't want to hit the stop lock i want to manage the trade and get out when i see a certain invalidation or something. The key thing of scalping is that you can actually react based on real-time information and you can actually really take advantage of every single move in lower time framing. But the good thing of swing trading is that every of your decision in your trade management is going to be very long in between. So you actually have more time and energy to make a solid decision and solid trade management plan. So that is a good thing about swing trading. So we're gonna see you on the next update. I'm watching another pair as GBB, CAD. I'm waiting for some signal to actually execute this trade as well. So we have a two opening trade. Let's see if we can actually get another trade. One trade as break even and uh, one trade just open on go. See you. All right, YouTube. So uh, I entered the trade, um, risking 1%. Let's see how the trade unfold. So that's it. We have a three trade opening. GBB AUD go and uh, GBB CAD. Everything looked really uh, promising. Let's see how eventually everything unfolds. So probably I'm gonna go and just wait for London and New York to see how the price go. All right. So I get that. I'm gonna see you on the next update. Hello YouTube. So as you can see, I just opened a new trade on Go. Here's how two trade look like on uh, trading view. I don't have a take profit for them for now. I do have a stop loss, but for the take profit, it's gonna be manually. And I want to update about the trade that I closed on uh, GBB AUD. I closed at 0.5%. So today we are up around just a little 0.2%. And currently we are in drawdown of around 1%. And you can see right here, I actually move my take profit to break even. That means when I was seeing price around this this reason right here, I actually trying to close it at a break even. But eventually, price really 
strong and just push down so I'm, go I'm going to hold to see if we can actually find a better price to get out for gold so far my bias is still very bullish and it actually is showing a lot of good signal for me to actually signify that it's going to go up that's the reason why I enter another trade the first trade is based on 4 hour chart the second trade is based on 1 hour chart so we have a 2 opening trades on gold and 1 trade in chart out on CAD. You can see that the trade on Euro and ZD yesterday, if I hold in, in step up call at a small profit, probably I already hit stop loss. And the trade on Euro CAD yesterday as well. So you can see that I close the trade around here. So if I hold the trade, probably I got stop it out already. So same thing to USD cap price still very just consolidation. So you can see that basically see a lot of trade that I got out pretty successfully. Otherwise, I have been losing more, and that is the reason of manually manage the trade. But sometimes it's just very strong, and I don't think that I can actually like create quick enough or have a a good decision. We do our best, but sometimes market is very volatile and it's set to its thing, right? So this trade, I'm going to hold to stop lot or if price showing by a better price action, then probably we're going to find a way to get out. I don't want to get out when price just push down and we get panicked and we got out without structure, without good price. So let's see eventually how we manage the trades. So far, we are up a little bit in profit today. So I'm going to see you on the next update. Monday. 13 November 2023 Hello YouTube, so this is the new trade on uh, Monday so I want to update about the gold trade last week so uh, here is the gold trade so, so uh, for both of this trade I was up around uh, a little bit more than 1% but eventually I held for too long and I got stopped it out for this trade, I'm gonna say that my trade management was not good, and I took quite a huge risk on one position. My risk exposure was two percent for go, and that is something I got to admit that I was wrong, and that is something that I really need to look back and study. So far, you can see that with Everything is going on. I do have around 2.5% left on FXFI and probably around from uh, 3 to 4% on other platform. And to be honest, that was, I mean, that is tied a huge drawdown. And uh, so you can see that on uh, for the engineer, I was down around 5%. On FXFI, I was down around 7%. A little bit more than seven percent on uh, FTMO. I was down around four to five percent on my, for the next. I was down from around five percent as, as well. My for the FX, I'm down around seven percent. NFT around six percent. TFT, I stopped trading on TFT as a uh, ban Vietnam. So as you can see so far the chart out is from five to more than seven percent. So it's pretty deep. Not sure if we can overcome this, but uh yeah I can I'm gonna just do my best. I know that during this time if I say to you that I learned a lot from this documentaries and I bust a lot of energy and effort on this and uh, it's quite unfortunate if I fail, but I learned a lot. In the past two months and as you can see that i didn't but a lot of video recently because i spent a lot of time back testing and work on myself because i realized that i still like need to learn more and study more both in terms of technical and the mental aspect of trading as well well most people they're gonna just speed things up try to see the PL and common but I'm gonna say that I am collecting a lot of lessons and hopefully I can share with you soon about what I have been working on and 
what kind of lesson that I got from this series and backtesting thousands and thousands of trades with different strategies as well. There's so many things that I still missing and I realize that it's more difficult than I ever imagined. That's the reason why I need to put more work in. And you can see I am not profitable and I'm, I am not trying to be one. All I can do is share with you my journey and hopefully someday along the road I can share with you my way to consistency as well. But so far, as you can see, I am still fluctuating around break even. And for me, this year, not losing much and still net profitable with some huge profit payout is still a good thing for me. So, yeah, I'm gonna just do my best. And thank you so much for staying during this very low moment as well. So, I'm gonna see you on the next update. So, uh, this trade is the last trade. If I fail this, would, uh, we only have around 1% left on FXF5. If I fail this trade, then uh, we are out for the phase 1. I mean, about uh, losing the count. Previous trade, Frank went down and uh, hit my stop block, so we lost that trade for 1%. But due to slippage, we got around 1.2%. So let's see if we can actually get this trade. You can see the risk exposure is exactly the amount left on uh, this account. So we lose the trade, we lose the account. So probably whip up around this region and uh, due to spread and commission, I hazard maximum trade out. So I want you to look at this trade copier so on FXFI, you can see that I officially fail on my Fnatic FX, fail to um, on FFT, I have around one and a half percent on uh, FTMO and for the engineer, I have us around two to uh, three percent for the next around yeah three percent. So for the next so far is pretty good all right so i got i'm gonna say that i have around one or two percent left for all the account but i fail on mxfi so i can see is the end of the series as well and uh let's have some talk hello youtube so i fail well let's get back to the beginning so when i first started to think about doing this series i didn't know if i may pass or not because it's trading <laughs> and I am I was never really just say that I am a very good trader or whatever because I know that my personality is not really built for it but I'm working toward it because I love trading now I got to say that this is probably one of the hardest things I ever done on YouTube and in my life as well I really try to bring you all to the most vulnerable and beautiful moment in my daily life in my travel kind of during my travel I actually back that's a lot a few thousand trades a different kind of trading strategy from very mechanical to a little bit long. and I find out a lot of things I mean when you do like 100 trade 200 trade it's still good back testing but when you do until like thousand of trade you start that you see a certain shift in market can actually really have a huge impact on our trading and how the law of large number really really apply when you go far and go beyond the normal sample size. So during this back testing and forward testing and doing challenge, I realized that there are a lot of things that I need to to, to learn. A lot of People, they just skip things and I think they're going to skip a lot of beautiful moments in the video as well. This series is not just a series. For me, it's uh, memories, lessons, the people that I met in Bali, the experiences, the moment that I had with my wife, how we travel, how we together spend time and, and really, really enjoy every single moment for the whole month in Indonesia. And I, I really, really love Indonesia. 
probably get my call back. I know the valley is very tourism and stuff, but when you really seek for something beautiful, you're gonna find a lot of hidden gems in in the land itself. It's just beautiful. So let's come back to trading. So I know that I do have like a lot of experiences in trading, different kind of market, different kind of time, and I'm getting old now. But the thing is, I never really like trading like I do now. I never really but in the work like I, I, I really do it now. And with a lot of realization, I, I never really tell you like I am this or I am that because I know that there's a lot of things that I need to work on and this is not easy. And back that thing, it doesn't matter what you trade, the execution part of like trading and like execution, they, it is different. And when I try to like trading and with a lot of accounts, sometimes it, it's difficult. It is. I hope that true throughout this video, throughout this series, I know that you may not learn a lot about trading, but I truly, I, I truly believe that there are so many beautiful lessons and beautiful moments because being vulnerable, you can some someone can hate me for it, but if you open yourself up as well, you're gonna receive a lot of good things. It's just the way life is. And I'm not trying to be a life coach. Someone say that I'm trying to be a guru or some shit. I really hate the word like guru. What the? I'm not trying to show you how you sh should live your life. I just show you how I live my life. And hopefully you find some reflection and you can find a way to make your life more happier and find your own inner peace. That is what matters at the end. Because if we trade, we make money, but we're still stressful every single day and we still lock ourselves in a certain things, <laughs> then it, it, it doesn't really matter how much money you make. So this theory overall, I'm going to tell you that I live, I prop my wife, beautiful experiences, I met some beautiful friends, I truly removed a lot of impulsiveness in my trading. Right now my trading is more like and practice and just keep doing it. I mean, I know that I'm not winning yet, but I actually see what I am missing and what I suck at and what I need to improve and I'm really, really work on that now. I don't promise because I owe no one shit. The only thing that I owe is myself a beautiful life and that's what I'm going to give to myself and to my family and the people that I love. I think that's what matters to us all. So I guess that is goodbye time. Wow, I mean, three, almost three months and I'm only doing this kind of thing. When I, I go to the river right here and try to hop on it and record on it to bring the real energy, it is, it's very difficult to find that place. But it only get like four thousand view probably people want to see more about trading and PL. <laughs> yeah we all want PL. I do understand that so what's next so the next thing is my next plan is that I'm going to slow things down I may lose all the challenge whatever but I will start again with maybe one challenge because let's be honest it's trading a lot of challenge a lot of accounts to together compared to trading one account on or like maximum two or three it's just so much easier especially if you pick some some firm with the same execution or the same broker then it's so much easier to manage because throughout the profit and trading i can really see the limitation i can really see the, the limitation in the way you trade in the pair that you trade because when i trade all pairs and if I trade some some weird pairs and I trade in a broker with shitty execution, you can really see the huge spread, huge slippage and commission. And that's something I don't want to. So I should wish that I can actually go to the live funded and show you more about the live execution of all the broker, but it looks like it's not going to happen. And I feel bad to to lose here. But 
I I haven't done my my best, and I wish you the best as well. So far, still a great year for me. A lot of lesson, a lot of realization, and and hopefully next year I'm not going to show you like just more about life, but about profitability as well because that's what I'm going for. Now I'm going full time. I'm already doing as full time, and for me right now, if I not be able to trade profitable, like it's gonna be very hard for my family and, and myself. So stay tuned for the last footage of the travel vlog, and I gonna see you on the next video. I think because it's done. I feel released. You have no idea. Trading, recording, it feel like always have a dumbbell on my shoulder. It very, and again, I'm not trying to be your guru. I don't want to be your guru. I'm gonna say that I want to be your friends, but people just skip this part, so they just go right straight to some part. More about money, more about PNL, and they say that I'm trying to be something I am not. But I'm gonna see you on the next update, on the next, <laughs> on the video, on the next series, what, whatever. Hopefully, someday along the road, we can trade live and we can document something in the live account as well. See you. On the next video, but stay for the last travel vlog. All right, thank you again for everything, and thank you for supporting the channel. For the channel, I think someone should just support me through the the link. New number. Feeling link something. I mean, <laughs> I put up the link, but I was not really doing hard sell or anything. But what, for example, when I got someone buying a backpack tool. I got like five dollar in commission, but I feel so happy. Even it's just like a coffee for me, but it feel amazing. It feel like people are loving you for who you are, and for me that what matter, and it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna see you, but again, stay for the the last travel video. Look at the view. Ah, beautiful. This view is speak large. Hello YouTube, we are back to the top of the mountain. Pretty cold, but very happy. You can see a lot of beautiful view behind me. Ah, it's just amazing. I'm gonna show you the view right now. See this view? <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. Our life is beautiful, and it's me. I feeling blessed to be able to be here with my lovely wife we uh we didn't take the tour to go here we we'll go here by ourselves we go solo and which we really really enjoy it we repair the breakfast some uh, fish some uh instant noodle it's just amazing I see a lot of trash, like plastic. Somehow people just, yeah, they destroy the nature. I feel bad to see that. But you know, if you ask me 
why I show you the car beautiful things about traveling, living inside a trading channel. <sighs> when I first started trading, the educators, the material that I got on the internet, they all told me about technical stuff. But I agree that there are a lot of technical things inside trading. But without a proper mindset, without a proper approach, you're gonna get lost in the chart. You're gonna get lost in the, the trading low that maybe for some of you or even me is mentally. For some of us, it's more about technically. For some of us, it's more about mindfully. And the reason I want you to see the card view to really bring you back to reality, to the root where everything started. We all started trading to be better, to be able to spend our time with the people that matter, with our family, with our kids, with your friends, whatever. But we don't need to be able to make six fingers, seven fingers before we can actually live. We can do both at the same time. And the more you live, the more mindfully you are in every single moment of life. It gives you a sense of peace. And when you have that within yourself, it doesn't matter how things going. You're gonna find a way to grow within that hardship, within that kind of situation. After this trip, the way I approach trading is gonna be ho 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 different. I might lose, I might win, but I don't really give a fuck. And I know that some of you don't like me swearing slush but this this view is fucking beautiful and lies fucking beautiful as well and we need to wake up we need to not only do our best on the chart on the challenge on trading but we got to do our best in living as well and the sooner we're gonna do we like that the better you may not make a lot but at least you don't lose yourself and you don't lose your life time is invaluable if you think that spending whole day looking at the chart scalping one minute all days gonna make you rich maybe maybe some of you it gonna work but for 99 99% of ours it's not gonna work and even you make a lot of money at the end of the day are you happy or are you truly suffering but in a different state of mind? Money can make your life beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But only when you can actually use money to construct your life, to hang around the hang, hang out around people that you care, to spend your time with the people you love, and to spend money to do the things that you love, to buy the freedom you are seeking for. That's what money for. Money is not for flexing. It's, money is not for who is better, who give a fuck. We are here to live and we are here to enjoy life. We are here to make trading enjoyable and meaningful and beautiful. I'm gonna see you on the next update. Win or lose, we're gonna do our best. See you. Bye 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 YouTube. Thank you.